How's it going guys? How's it going? It's time for some We Love Betting Chit Chat, Football League Chit Chat with my main man, Mark O'Hare. How's it going? <laughs> yes, yeah, alright. Sports Thanks, bet guys. Mark, of course. Yeah, it's kind of alright. Don't give me that, my Twitter tag out anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, do, do tell because you got some horrendous abuse last weekend from mm. some uh, filth pots. Yeah, um, I think we counted about six of them uh, yeah. last week. I went bananas at me. Yeah. We're not getting, we're not getting paid for this. <laughs> It's just a bit of fun. Keep Take it, it too seriously, okay? Take it easy. Get buy a nice book. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> just take it easy. Hot chocolate, I'd advise that. I always very relaxing for me. Anyway, just go for a run. Big love. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It must be still fortunes. But anyway, anyway, <laughs> three games, <laughs> three games, and you go aside. First game up. <laughs> Come on. Sorry. They let you down last week. Who are you going for? Uh, well, I'm not going for them this week, but Sheffield right. Wednesday uh, involved. They're at Birmingham City. Um, two teams really struggling at the bottom end of the table, and uh, only 11 goals in 13 matches between them. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to go for both teams to score. <laughs> He's lost it. He really <laughs> lost it. I shall forgive you guys. You're right. Crack away at them. It's, it's a 5 to 6, and um, I think it's worth backing here because. Uh, I think Birmingham are one of those teams you need to keep an eye on in the relegation stakes. They've, uh, mm. they've not really been going too well. I think Lee Clark's got a very tough job on his hand and the fact that they're on a real crusade to slash that wage bill at St Andrews. Right. Uh, the squad's very thin. Uh, things are looking a little bit bleak for, for Birmingham. I see them in the bottom eight, especially this season. Um, and things just haven't been going for them in the goal-scoring column. Only netted once in three at home. Uh, failed to net in four of their seven league games, but they're actually very unlucky to come away with no points um, mm. from Loftus Road last weekend. Hit the woodwork, penalty appeals turned down, clear cut chances wasted. Um, so there should be some faith there, um, especially when they, get, they take on Sheffield Wednesday, who've <coughs> already conceded to Millwall and Yeovil, two teams really struggling down the bottom end of the table, and yet to keep a clean sheet themselves. Um, Birmingham have only kept one in seven clean sheets, um, while Wednesday have obviously kept none. Both teams have scored actually banked in all six Sheffield Wednesday league matches. Wow. Uh, they've netted, of course, in every game themselves. And uh, the fat goth just keeps getting mm. <laughs> um, abused by us. But we've sort of gone, <laughs> gone quite nice with him recently. And it's Sheffield yeah. Wednesday fans now who've been tweeting me at weekends saying yeah. he's lost it. Matthew Cook, oh, a Wednesday fan Matthew especially. Yeah. A good guy on Twitter bemoaning his tactical nous. Um, and we've said it before, bad defences breed goals more so than uh, great attacks. And I think that's the case here because one clean sheet in 13 between them, uh, for me, is a, st a stronger trend than uh, just 11 goals scored between them. So at five to six, I think it's a decent price. It's an interesting show, definitely. I don't think it's going to be many people's uh, bet the weekend, but it's one of yours. And it's interesting, and let's hope it, let's hope it comes up, definitely. Um, next... The next team you've selected, I think everyone's second club at the moment. Everyone is in love with this club. <laughs> what they've done this season has been nothing short of phenomenal. Of course I'm talking about Coventry City. Take it away. Yeah, they're not my favourite second club. Um, yeah. St. Queen's Park Rangers down from the Premier League oh, all those years ago. Oh. Sorry, sorry, Gavin Horsfall, but I'm yeah. not a Sky Blues fan That's at all. homeless, man. <laughs> Don't care. Oh. <laughs> um, so nah, there's not too much to say on this because it's essentially the same better place last weekend, right. uh, which banked as well. Mm -hmm. Coventry to score over 1.5 goals at 10 to 11. They're at Port Vale. They're out of the relegation zone already after beating Gillingham last weekend. They've already scored 20 goals in seven league games, so carrying on from last week, they've now scored 2, 5, 4, 4, 1, 2 and 2, meaning this bet we would have collected on in six of their seven League One matches. Um, they've scored seven in three away games at Crawley, Shrewsbury and Carlisle. Uh, Saturday's opponents, Port Vale, have kept just one clean sheet in seven. They've already leaked three goals against the likes of Wolves, Lake Norian and Oldham this season, um, so I'm not going to don't need to go, go crazy on this one. It's uh, uh, over 1.5 goals for Coventry uh, 10 to 11 but if you like an alternative yeah. over 2.5 goals is banked in 12 of 18 away Coventry games and over 3.5 in 10 of 18 away Coventry games we call him the stat man here in the Sporting Bet office and he's come up with the goods <laughs> come up with the goods once again I've been called a lot worse than that <laughs> last weekend <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I had one very naughty C word but I won't say that we don't want to get involved in swearing and, and certainly words like that which are just nasty. <laughs> you know, that, well, it's, it's like that. school. It is, isn't it? It's brilliant. <laughs> what, what, what did that guy say to you? I can't even make sense. I can't even mention it. Mm. Cost me money. Uh, <laughs> right. 
Third pick. Yeah. Third pick. I'll stop meandering and kick on. It's League Two. Yeah. And it's uh, you've got South End involved here. South End have kind of dropped off the pace a bit after you put them up for relegation back yeah. in July. People were like, "Yeah, Mark, you're right." And then they got a great start to the season. You're like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> but suddenly it's coming back. Yeah. And it's coming back. Won the first fast. three games and then they've lost the last four as well. But um, over two and a half goals is my bet here. Even money. I can't see any reason why not to to back this at, at evens. Um, I love an even. Love a, an over two and a half goal bet around even money. I think it's always worth going in. Barry, of course, we mentioned him a few weeks ago, rebuilding, brought, bringing so many players over the summer, but they've actually lost their last two fixtures since we spoke about them. Um, but they've knitted in defeat at Fleetwood last weekend, and that means five of their seven games have now gone over two and a half goals. Uh, 21 goals in those seven games uh, in total. Uh, they've managed to score in five, only kept one clean sheet this season, so there's a few trends already to suggest we should, we should see a few goals here. Yeah, I was quite scathing about South End, yeah, um, but in those four defeats, so three of them have actually gone over two and a half, They're leaking eight goals in those four matches without a clean sheet in them as well. Uh, but they've actually managed to score in all but one game this season. So when you tie that in with Barry's shaky defence, um, <laughs> that's poor. No? I, <laughs> uh, I think even money's a very good bet for over two and a half. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it makes a lot of sense, definitely, huh? and because South End. Uh, stop the losing run at the weekend. Who knows? Uh, all these prices are sporting bet prices. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And the, the bets I think are, are decent prices as well as decent chances of winning. I've tried yeah. to marry a little bit. Yeah. One and three last that. week. Yeah, and, and the week before. Last week. And the week before. Uh, God. Horrendous God. patch of. Fun. God love him. Not that I can talk my Polish football, but anyway. <laughs> the three final <laughs> <laughs> uh, overs at Berry at South End at even money. Uh, Coventry to score over 1.5 goals at Port Vale, which is 10 to 11. Both teams to score Birmingham Wednesday at 5 to 6. Cool. Don't abuse the guy. He's <laughs> a lovely, lovely guy. <laughs> Give him a break.